Hello and welcome to another episode of Differential Calculus with Sir R Squared. In this video, we're going to discuss about higher derivatives and its application. We are referencing Calculus with Analytic Geometry by Thurman Peterson. Learning Objectives and Outcomes Ang pangunahing layunin ng video ito ay maturuan ang mag-aaral kung paano mag-solve ng higher derivatives ng isang function. At ang kahihinatnan ay matututunan ng mga mag-aaral ang pag-solve ng higher derivatives at ang aplikasyon o mga gamit nito sa pagsusolve ng isang function. Disclaimer Ang video ito ay ginawa ng may akda upang magamit sa pagtuturo ng matematika at maging sandigan na mag-aaral sa kanilang pag-aaral ng kalkulus. Ang video ito ay maaaring ma-download ng walang bayad or for free sa www.youtube.com Ano man pong maling paggamit sa video ito maliban sa nasa saad sa taas ay hindi po responsibilidad ng may akda. This video is not regulated by the institution. Any flows in this video is at author's imperfection. Higher derivatives Because the derivative of a function y is equal to f of x is itself a function y prime is equal to f prime of x, you can take the derivative of f prime of x, which is generally referred to as the second derivative of f of x, and written f double prime of x or f superscript 2 of x. This differentiation process can be continued to find the third, fourth, and successive derivatives of f of x, which are called higher order derivatives of f of x. Because the prime notation for derivatives would eventually become somewhat messy, it is preferable to use the numerical notation f to the nth of x is equal to y to the nth to denote the nth derivative of f of x. Example number one. Find the first, second, and third derivatives of f of x is equal to 5x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 7x squared minus 9x plus 2. Solution f prime of x is equal to 20x cubed minus 9x squared plus 14x minus 9. f double prime of x or the second derivative or f superscript 2 of x is equal to 60x squared minus 18x plus 14. And the third derivative, f triple prime of x, is equal to 120x minus 18. Example number 2. Find f3 of 4 if f of x is equal to the square root of x. Solution. Because f of x is equal to the square root of x, which is a radical, we first express it into an exponential form, x raised to 1 half. The first derivative, f prime of x, is equal to 1 half x raised to the negative 1 half. The second derivative, f double prime of x, is equal to negative 1 fourth x raised to negative 3 halves. And the third derivative, f triple prime of x is equal to 3 over 8 x raised to negative 5 halves. Hence, f triple prime of 4 is equal to 3 over 8 times 4 raised to the negative 5 halves. And we have 3 over 256 as our answer. Point of inflection. 
in differential calculus and differential geometry, an inflection point, point of inflection, flex or inflection, British inflection, is a point on a smooth plane curve at which the curvature changes sign. In particular, in the case of the graph of a function, it is a point where the function changes from being concave, concave downward, to convex, concave upward, or vice versa. In this picture, you will see different examples of concavity. A point where the concavity changes from up to down or down to up is called a point of inflection, POI. Note that the tangent line to a graph at a point of inflection must cross the graph at that point. Now, let us look at concavity from slightly different perspective. Consider the graph of a cos function shown below. The graph shows that the total cost of a certain activity increases sharply at the beginning and then rises more and more slowly until a point where the total cost begins to rise more sharply again. The blue color indicates a region where the slope of the tangent decreases. That is, in this region, the rate at which the cost function increases, decreases. The red color indicates a region where the slope of the tangent increases. In example, the rate at which the cost function increases also increases. By our previous definitions, the blue area is concave downward, and the red area is concave upwards. The green point is the point at which the rate of change of the slope changes from decreasing to increasing. It is also the point at which the concavity of a function changes from downward to upward. This point is called a point of inflection. Finding where the point of inflection is. So our task is to find where a curve goes from concave upward to concave downward or vice versa. Derivative will help us. The first derivative of a function gives the slope. The second derivative tells us if the slope increases or decreases. When the second derivative is positive, the function is concave upward. When the second derivative is negative, the function is concave downward. And the inflection point is where it goes from concave upward to concave downward, or vice versa. Example, y is equal to 5x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x. Let's work out the second derivative. The derivative is y prime 15x squared plus 4x minus 3. The second derivative, y double prime, is equal to 30x plus 4. And 30x plus 4 is negative up to x is equal to negative 4 over 30 is equal to negative 2 over 15. Positive from there onwards. So f of x is concave downward up to x is equal to negative 2 over 15. f of x is concave upward from x is equal to negative 2 over 15. And the inflection point is at x is equal to negative 2 over 15. 
So, here's the graph of the function. Kung makikita daw po natin, ang uh, second derivative daw po ay uh, negative up to negative 2 over 15 4 over 30 you know? so paano nakuha yun inequate po sa 0 yung second derivative tapos naging negative 4 over 30 nakuha po natin yung x so negative daw po siya dyan and then positive from there onwards so, ang uh, point of inflection daw po ay matatagpuan sa x is equal to negative 2 over 15. Example, y is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 5. Solution, the derivative is y prime is equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 12. The second derivative is y double prime is equal to 6x minus 12. And 6x minus 12 is negative up to x is equal to 2. Positive from there onwards. So, f of x is concave downward up to x is equal to 2. And f of x is concave upward from x is equal to 2 onwards and the inflection point is at x is equal to 2. Here's the graph of the function y is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 5. The point of inflection is at x is equal to 2. Now you may ever wonder pa paano naging negative up to x is equal to 2. Kung makikita mo yung second derivative, pag siniro mo to, 6x minus 12, kapag nag-substitute ka ng value rito na lesser than 2, e eh negative siya. Kalimbawa, 1, e eh di 6 minus 12 ay uh, negative. 1.99, negative pa rin. Kapag 2, 0. Now, up to 2 nga, siya ay negative. Now, from 2 onwards, magpa-positive na siya. So, halimbawa, naglagay ka ng 2.1, positive na yung lalabas. So, wag po tayong makukonfuse dito. Baka kasi sinabi nyo na positive yung 2, ah. bakit sinabi niyang negative up to x is equal to 2. x is equal to 2 po ang ating point of inflection, pero yung ating graph is negative up to x is equal to 2. Nililinaw ko lamang po yung dito. Ano? Baka po magkaroon kayo ng confusion. Sabi nyo, pagka is transpose to the other side is positive and divided by 6 is uh, positive 2, yun nga po ang point of inflection. Kaya lang, pag nag-substitute ka ng values up to x is equal to 2, it will give a negative value. Okay. For more relevant videos on application of derivatives, kindly watch my other videos on maxima and minima and other application videos. You can find it on the end screen. At sa wakas ng lahat ng bagay, tayo po'y magpasalamat sa Panginoon Diyos sa pagbibigay sa atin ng lakas at buhay upang mapag-aralan at matutunan ang mga bagay nito. Ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos amang makapangyarihan sa lahat na nagahari noon, ngayon at magpakailanman. Magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. To God be the glory.